mahjong is a national pastime mm. for all Chinese people everywhere, not just in China, but also the Chinese diaspora. Like my own set, I bought this in uh, Brooklyn Chinatown, Sunset Park. Um, it's a game that brings families together. It's also a game that touches all sectors of society. So blue collar workers play the game, but you also hear these stories like in Less Caution of uh, women who wear their best diamonds so that when they shuffle the tiles, they <laughs> glitter. Yeah, that's oh, I great. I love it. Yeah. That's great. Um, and we've been, as Anne-Marie says, I've been a huge proponent of this film because I just think it's so wonderful that across the film industry, across the entertainment industry, that just there are more diverse films out there for diverse people. Um, what kind of a cultural touchstone is Crazy Rich Asians in this country at this point in time? I think it's huge. I mean, I think it's for representation. Um, you hear it everywhere. Like, you don't have to like rom-coms, but you do have to go see it. Um, I think that we're already seeing the way it's influenced the industry. There's a sequel coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, there's a, a John Cho is going to be doing this Netflix series. So you're really seeing the gatekeepers pay attention to this box office win and to give more money to projects that um, give us more representation in Hollywood. Yeah.